Hello there and welcome to the series of videos going through the content of able further maths. Here we're going to look at how we reflect a point in the equation of a line. So we can answer questions from exercise 9f. Now this is the first in three videos of reflecting a point in a line. We've got to reflect a point in a plane as well and we've also got to reflect a line in a plane as well. So we're going to have to get used to this reflecting um, type of mathematics. Um, and we've already done quite a lot of the work for it already. Now we've got a point, we've got a line, we know that if it's going to ref be reflecting, it's going to reflect at a right angle, or if we draw the line from the point to the line in its reflection, in its line of reflection, then it's going to meet at a right angle. We've already done a lot of maths corresponding to this. We've already done a lot of calculating this coordinate here, where it's going to reflect through, or calculating the distance from the point to the line in the shortest possible way. Um, so what we're going to effectively do is find the vector from P to the line, double it, and then apply it to our coordinate, so we end up down at B. Okay, so B here is effectively the coordinate that we are looking to find. So this is our question here. We have a point A, which is 3, 1, 2. We have a vector equation, of a line which is 3, 2, 1 plus 1, 1, 2 lambda. Whoops, I forgot to put the lambda in there. Uh, the point B is the reflection of point A in the line L. So what we're effectively doing is we're going to be finding a point that's down here once we've reflected A in this line here. Find the coordinate for B. So what we're going to start off doing is the maths that we've seen previously, which is finding the vector from A to the shortest distance to the point, uh, to the line here. So we'll call this coordinate P, or it's just anywhere on line L, really. So if we find the vector from A and intersect that point, then apply that vector again on the other side, the point will be reflected. So let's have a go at this. So finding the vector from A to the line, so finding this vector here, so a to l, well let's do l minus a to work out that value, so it's going to be 5 plus lambda, 2 plus lambda, 1 plus 2 lambda minus the coordinate, and simplify this, and what we want to make sure of now is that once we've found this vector from a to l, that it definitely meets line l at a right angle, or find the corresponding value of lambda such that it meets the line at a right angle. And how do we find where, what the value of lambda is if it meets at a right angle? We, as we've done in a lot of these videos, dot it with the direction vector of the line. Set that equal to zero, because in the dot product that will make the theta degrees 90. So, expand your brackets, work out lambda, we get minus one-sixth for lambda. Okay, so we've got the direction vector of A to L, we've got the lambda value that will um, correspond to its shortest distance, minus one-sixth. So, what we can do now is we can find the direction vector from A to the line, the shortest distance from the line to the point, by plugging in lambda equals minus one-sixth. And we get this thing here, 11 over 6, 5 over 6, minus 8 over 6. So that there is going to be the direction vector from this point here to this point here. But we don't want this point here, we want this point down here. So what we can do now is if we know this vector from here to here, and we actually want this vector from here to here, we can now double this vector from A to L to get the vector from A to B. So given that we now know where A is and we now know how to get from A to B, what we can now do is work out the coordinate for B. So we're doing coordinate B is equal to start at coordinate A and then add on the direction vector from A to B. So effectively take your 3, 1, 2 and then add the vector that we calculated here. Okay, and we get 40 over 6, uh, 16 over 6, and minus 4 over 6. So in this question here, we're going to get 20 over 3, 8 over 3, and minus 2 over 3. Okay, so your turn to have a go at this question here then. That's how we do it. We look for how to find the shortest distance between the point and the line. 
find the value of lambda, work out how you get from your coordinate to the line, and then double it to get the other side of it. Pause the video and try this question out. All right then, so let's have a go at this question here then. So the first thing I would do here is rewrite out my vector in terms of a, so the equation of the line in terms of a uh, vector form. So 4, 2, 1 will be the direction vector there. And I've got the point 5, minus 2, 1 as well. So I'm looking for the shortest distance between a point and a line that meets it at a right angle. So we've been through a lot of this, this stuff here before, so we want to find the coordinate P here, uh, and we've got coordinate A here. So how do we work out the vector from A to P? Well, in this case here, we're going to do the coordinate for P, which is any point on this line. So it's minus 2 plus 4 lambda, 5 plus 2 lambda, and minus 3 plus lambda. Subtract the coordinate for A, which is 5 minus 2, 1. Do the subtraction and we get minus 7 plus 4 lambda. We're going to get 7 plus 2 lambda and we're going to get minus 4 uh, plus lambda. Now we need to check that A to P, when we dot it with the line, we're going to get 0, because that's when it will meet at a right angle, and this will help us work out lambda. So minus 7 plus 4 lambda, 7 plus 2 lambda, minus 4 plus lambda, dotted with the direction vector of 4, 2, 1. So this is going to give us, um, so this thing needs to equal 0, so it's going to give us minus 28 plus 16 lambda plus 14 plus uh, 4 lambda, and it's going to be minus 4 plus lambda equals 0. Okay, so in total here we have 21 lambda on this side, and if we add everything onto the other side it's going to be 28 minus 14, and we need to add 4 as well, so that's going to be 18. So in this case here, lambda is going to equal 18 divided by 21. I think that can simplify to 6 over 7. So the next thing we need to do is work out how we get from A to P, and then we can double that to get from A to B. So to get from A to P, we're going to use this vector here. So it's going to be minus 7, add 4 lots of uh, 6 over 7. So calculating this on a calculator, better safe than sorry instead of making silly arithmetic mistakes. Minus 27 over, 25 over 7. Then it's going to be 7, add 2 lots of uh, 6 over 7, which is 61 over 7. And then the final one is going to be minus 4, add just one of these lambda values, um, which is going to be minus 22 over 7. So what we need to do now is work out how we get from A to B now. So B is going to be this coordinate down here, which is the reflection. So A to B is going to be double the vector from A to P. So it's going to be minus 50 over 7. It's going to be 122 over 7. And it's going to be uh, minus 44 over 7. And all that's needed to do now is start at coordinate A and add this coordinate here from A to B. And that will get us to coordinate B. So this is going to be Coordinate A, which is 5 minus 2, 1, add this coordinate here, minus 50 over 7, uh, 122 over 7, and minus 44 over 7. So, once again, using a calculator to do this, first calculation is 5 minus 50 over 7. So for this coordinate here, I'm going to get minus 15 over 7. 
the next calculation is going to be minus 2 add 122 over 7. So that's going to be 108 over 7. And for the last one, it's going to be 1 minus 44 over 7, which is going to give us minus 37 over 7. Okay, so there we are then. That is coordinate B. Coordinate B is minus 15 over 7, 108 over 7, and minus 37 over 7. Okay, so there we are. That's the answer to this question here then. So I don't think there are any of these types of problems in exercise 9F. I just made sure we were covering all bases when we were looking through these videos here. But do move on to the next video where we're going to look at reflecting a point in a plane this time. Thanks very much for watching.